Jesus said uh, he never had a female disciple, right there. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. Judged by the same Bible you are, great grandma. Joyce is going to get judged by the Bible. Open it up, Gertrude. Hey, the Bible says it is a shame for a woman to have short hair. I didn't write it. Not legalistic. Just, to, just obey the Bible. Just obey the Word of God. Now we know, we know, no man in his right mind would be coming to a Joyce Meyer convention. I mean, no guy with any backbone, unless of course his wife is the one that tells him to do what they say. Unless of course that's it. But no man in his right mind is going to come here. You women have lost your mind. You've lost your mind. on camera there's women here with short hair who has cancer I would like him to answer that so what do people with short hair who have cancer supposed to do ask him that question since you're recording okay ask him that because you could be really insulting somebody right now on what they're going through and that's not Christian love that's not Christian love you're soon going to meet God and you need to get serious about the God of the Bible away um, when is Joyce going to tell you women you need to submit to your husband? When is she going to write that book? You need prayer. I'm going to be here until your hair grows out the way God intended. That's how long I'm going to be here. No, no, you talk now or that's it. Give me your ticket, I'll rip it up and then we can talk. I'm not a cheap date. Let me have your ticket, I'll rip it up and then we'll talk. You don't care about me? Give me your ticket, I'll rip it up, and you and I will spend some alone time. You got five, four, three, two, you're not interested. Joyce means more to you than truth. No! The Bible says no. to contend for the faith. You guys are contending for, jo for Joyce. Good job, Oh, I don't see any Bibles. Anybody got their Bibles today? Anybody got their Bibles? I've seen a lot of people going in in wheelchairs. I've seen a lot of elderly walking in with the canes. Are they going to come out? Are they going to come out with the same wheelchair? Is there power? Is there holy God? Is there Bible? That's what you're missing. Most of you don't know the God of the Bible. You don't either. Actually, you know God really well because you are Okay. 
take? How many antidepressant drugs do you girls take? Oh, you're happy now? Next week you're depressed again. Oh, you're happy now? You guys are a walking ball of emotion. That's why the Bible says we're to walk by faith, not by emotion. You girls are filled with emotion. Time to obey the God of the Bible. Short hair. It's a shame for a woman to have short hair. It's a shame for a woman to have short hair. Uh, no, we got bald men in the Bible. As a matter of fact, if I know my Bible correctly, by having bald hair comes with two she bears, so you better keep your mouth shut if you know Bible history. But I don't expect much. Not with a woman. And I bet you really think God talks to you. I really think you think, woman, somebody like you is going to chase your husband away into the arms of another woman. You know, the same husband that's watching porno all the time, the same husband that's watching porno all the time, you're half to blame. You're half to blame. No book needed. You don't need to buy a book from me to get that information. And you keep talking to me. What does that make you sound like? I'm not listening. How many lesbians are here to see Joyce Meyer today? How many lesbians are here to see Joyce today? Have you? I, I gotta How many daughters of God are here to see Joyce Meyer today? You're pretty slow. You don't get things over and over. Time to get serious about God. When is Joyce going to write a book, Women Need to Submit to Their Husbands? Uh, husbands, we have to submit to God. We've got to submit to God. You need to submit to your father, your pastor, your husband. Nothing personal, girls. I know this is a big pep rally for you. Time for you to get serious about God. When did the Apostle Paul ever charge money to read his epistles? When did the Apostle Paul ever charge money to come hear him expound on Bible? Oh, but Joyce doesn't, and you people have bit the apple. You've lost your mind. Joyce Meyer is nothing more than a female Jim Jones. That's all. Don't forget you guys. Don't think I didn't forget you guys for one second. I know you girls are depressed. How many of you take antidepressant drugs? Be honest, don't lie. Huh? Be honest. I bet you've been watching Joyce Myers at 3 o'clock in the morning, all alone in a trailer by yourself. And this is what you want to do on a Friday morning. Shouldn't you be spending that hundred dollars on maybe some pots and pans? Huh? I'm a loser. You're going to listen to a loser. And you paid money to listen to a loser. You've, you've lost your mind. You've absolutely lost your mind. It is noted from heaven today how serious you are about choice. You're going to stand in line in the heat, pay money, buy her books, and you're going to walk out saying, oh, I was inspired? Unless you just came out of chemotherapy, you have an excuse. You should have a note from your doctor. But where in the Bible does it say women should have short hair? Let's face it. You girls just have daddy issues. You girls just have daddy issues. Your father should have corrected you when you were a little whore in high school. Your father should have corrected you, much like your pastor should correct you, not to fornicate. But what do you do? You want to spend a hundred bucks to have Joyce Myers tell you how wonderful you are. Tell you what a good person you are. I hate to break the bubble, you're headed for hell. Most of you are lukewarm in this line. Time for you to get familiar with the God of the Bible.
If you are stuck on the five freeway with a flat tire, you think she's going to pull over and help you? You think she's going to pull over and help you? No, her limo is going to zoom right by you. You girls have lost your mind. Remember, it was Eve who was first deceived in the garden. You women, most of you are filled with emotion. You make a decision based on emotion, not reason, not logic, not biblical points. This is why you come to listen to Joyce today. It's pure emotion. Homos and lesbians, perverts, how many of you are going to be drinking tonight? How many of you are going to have a couple of cigarettes when you go home? How many of you are going to be popping some antidepressant drugs? Come on. There were people walking in there with wheelchairs and canes. Quite frankly, if there was any power in this building, they'd be running out of there. They'd be made whole and healed. But Joyce doesn't have... Yeah, bring Joyce out to me. Couldn't you pray for Bring Joyce out to me. You must have been a mama's boy growing up, haven't you? You must have been. I wouldn't touch that hand. I don't know where that hand's been. If you're if you're a staff with uh, this has with nothing Joyce, to do with Jesus. If you are a staff with nothing. Joyce, you are a mama's boy. Mama you boy. are a mama's boy. This is what a real man looks like, girls. Amen. Talk, walk, smell like a real man the way God intended. I'm not ashamed of my sex. My function is to submit to God and get right with God and follow God. Time to obey the God of the Bible. Uh, they're not ladies. They're not ladies. They're lukewarm. They're, they're lukewarm. What's, what's the next book Joyce Myers is going to have? How to get tattoos and piercing and still be a Christian. Huh? Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. In a few more years when you're 80, that's going to look like a dead rose. When, in a few more years, that body's going to sag, and that's going to be disgusting. You people have lost your mind. And let me tell you girls something, with an attitude that you have, you girls will never attract a guy like me into your life. Oh, what are you doing listening to her? Do you know what she actually teaches? Have you guys lost your mind? Do understand, when Satan spoke in the garden, he gave a little bit of truth mixed in with a lie. Oh, she's going to say some things that are truthful, but it's mixed in with a lie. That's how the devil deceives. Satan didn't go and deceive Eve with a bunch of lies. He mingled it with a little bit of truth. Something you better concern yourself with. Shame on you women. How many of you brought your Bibles today? Where, where's your Bibles? Now that's a phone. Where's your Bibles? Show your Bible. Don't be ashamed. You know what? No matter what form it comes to in it, whether it's the radio, it's on the phone, whether it's on the radio. Can you tell me a choice when yeah. preach her gospel in China or Afghanistan where those Christians are getting beheaded? I do hope that you don't preach your gospel. No, let me tell you, Joyce has an American gospel. This is why most of you don't walk in with a Bible. I don't want to know you. I don't need to know you. Just the mere fact that you're here speaks volumes of you. Read the Bible, everybody. Did you bring your Bibles today? Huh? Yes. Come on. Come on, everybody. You got to pay your hundred dollars, Joe. We know that Joyce needs a new Botox. We know that she needs a new Botox. Obviously, she didn't go to somebody in Beverly Hills. Obviously, she went to like a dollar store Botox, where they damaged her face. Look at her before and after. If that doesn't speak volumes of vanity, what does? Most of you women need 45 minutes to an hour in that mirror. 
but you don't even pray that much for your children. You want to make sure your shoes match your blouse, but you're never concerned about confirming something in the Bible. You, you can spend an hour standing in line in the heat, but you won't do that instead of a good church. You won't stand outside of a Bible-believing church. How do you know that? Time for you to know the God of the Bible. Yeah, why don't you rip up your ticket and then we'll talk. This is the rip-up ticket zone right here. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you, girls. How many lesbians are going in here? Uh, how many lesbians are walking in here? Whoa, I'm not your husband, woman. You can talk to him that way, not me. I got a backbone. Maybe, maybe you can talk to him that way in the trailer park, not me. Come on, people. Blind leading the blind pit is straight ahead. It's a shame for a woman to have short hair. Take issue with the Bible. Pit straight ahead. Keep walking. Plop, 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 plop. Jesus Christ said he wants you either hot or cold. Yeah, read it. Don't just carry it. Obey it. Dress modesty, as the Bible says. You don't need to show off all your assets. Time to read the Bible, people. Time to obey the God of the Bible. Time for you to get truly born again. Lesbians are welcome here to see Joyce. That should speak volumes of her gospel. People walking in that need healing, and all she's concerned about is don't forget to buy her CD. She's not concerned about you. She's concerned about your bank account. Her gospel is money. And you're the blind sheep that's willing to pay a hundred bucks a pop. You still here? You still here? You still here? Are you in favor of homosexual? Huh? Are you? You can't say yes or no? Are you? I just need to ask. Are you? I'm asking you. You kind of resemble a tranny in transaction. That's why I'm asking. I, I, no, God, God does not favor homosexuality. No. Nor does he favor transvestites. I know there's transvestites here. I can see some tranny fluid here in Anaheim, right all over the street. Because you guys are comfortable listening to Joyce. You can stay in your sin and listen to Joyce. There is no born again experience. It's just pure emotion. Pure emotion. Shame on you. Time to rip up your ticket, girls. You think it's hot and you're fanning yourself now. This is winter time in the shade with a nice cold lemonade and the air conditioner on in Hellfire. Hellfire is a place of torment. Hellfire is a place of torment. Unlike what Joyce Meyer says, she said hell, demons were mocking him and jumping on him. I hate to break the news to you, but if you read the Bible, demons are tormented in hell. In matter of fact, hell was made for demons. They're not, uh, they're not dancing. Time for you to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible.